flow through venturi meter. Flow meters are used in the industry to measure the volumetric flow rate of fluids. Differential pressure type flow meter measure flow rate by introducing a constriction in the flow. The pressure difference caused by the constriction is correlated with the flow rate using Bernoulli theorem. Venturi meter Orifice meter and pitot tube are widely used head flow meters in the industry. The pitot static is often used for measuring the local velocity in pipes or ducts. For measuring flow in enclosed ducts or channel, the venturi meter and orifice meters are more convenient and more frequently used. The venturi is widely used particularly for large volume liquid and gas flows since it exhibits little pressure loss. However, for smaller pipes, orifice meter is a suitable choice. In order to use any of these devices for measurement, it is necessary to empirically calibrate them. One of the disadvantages of orifice meter is the large irreversible pressure loss across the orifice, which results in substantial pumping costs in case of large diameter pipes. However, the same principle can be exploited with only minimal pressure loss with the use of a venturi meter. Advantages The main advantages of venturi over the orifice plate are 1. Low head loss, around 90% of the pressure is recovered. Less affected by upstream flow disturbances, good performance at higher. Even more robust. The Venturi tube is suitable for clean, dirty, and viscous liquid and some slurry services. Self-cleaning, less affected by erosion. The disadvantages. The disadvantages compared to the orifice are 1. Occupies longer length of pipe. 2. More expensive. The material used in the experiment are carbon tetrachloride, manometer and mercury manometer procedures one keep the bypass valve completely open and the main valve completely closed switch on the pump two connect a ccl4 manometer and mercury manometer across the venturi three open the main valve and set the flow rate of water using the rotameter five Note down the rotameter reading and manometer reading after steady state is obtained. Increase the flow rate by opening the main valve and throttling the bypass valve suitably in repeat step 4. Use mercury manometer for higher flow rates. Take readings with cell 4 manometer, mercury manometer as well as with the mercury manometer. Lastly, repeat the experiment with different ratios and with different fluids.